Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Simple Stories Saturday. And I'm gonna show you just real quickly how deeply into my stash I dived this time. Um, I've got this paper pad from the You Are Here collection, and that's where I got my background paper. And I fussy cut a bunch of florals from this paper, and I fussy cut some stamps from this paper, and a, I have a sheet of um, cut aparts that I cut out a camera and some other some other goodies. So I used a fair amount from this, and it's a travel collection, and this is not a travel page at all. I'm using a title from this uh, uh, Simple Vintage Coastal, and it's not a coastal page at all. I've matted my photos in another sheet of paper from that uh, paper pad. It's a map, and I, I don't think you can tell it. Uh, I'm using um, this pattern right here from Life in Color. And I'm using this pattern from, uh, I believe that's called, well, this pattern is Bliss. This is something to do with home, and I may only just have some scraps of that. There's something in there from I Am, and there's something in there from uh, Good Day Sunshine, one of my all-time favorite collections, and as you can see, I'm, I have no more 12 by 12s, and I'm almost out of 6 by 6s so that is a sad state of affairs and there's also a page in here this pattern right here that is from uh summer fresh and i actually see something else that i may want to add to it um so i'll keep this page out i may want to fussy cut that and and insert it in or not so I didn't want to make you watch me cut. I, I had only scraps of some of these, so I cut them in two, and then I, I did the fishtail banner uh, ends, and then I pasted them down. They're uh, all one-inch widths. I pasted them down and then used my T-square to draw the uh, fake stitching on. So I've kind of... Um, and, and I'm using this sketch by Allison Davis, which was from um, day 25 of the 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And on day 25, I had a couple of other um, pages to post, so I decided to, to combine this one with Simple Story Saturday and just post it a few days late. I have... As I said, fussy cut stuff. I have three photos, and these photos were taken by James while Katie was putting together a puzzle that I gave him last year for Christmas, with which has a an oil painting, a painting of Reese on it. And Reese, he took a picture of Reese, kind of watching on, uh, looking on at it, and. In the original, you can kind of see that the center photo has been given a little bit more prominence. And so what I've done is I matted both the photo and the mat, so it's going to kind of stick up a little bit higher, and I can slide these others underneath it. And I did some thinking about which one I wanted to feature. And so I had two that had to do with the puzzle and one that had to do with Reese looking on. And that's kind of my story and my title, my title is gonna be Relax, and she looks totally relaxed as she's watching her her little face be put together on a table. And, and I don't know about you, but that um, granite 
table underneath the puzzle would have driven me nuts. There's no way I could put together a puzzle on that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this be my guide for where I put the photos because I need to put it so that it completely hides the, um, the gap there. And then this one will kind of overlap that a bit and it'll be up higher. And my trimmer, I didn't notice this till I had that all put together. My trimmer didn't really cut that straight. <laughs> so I'm going to embellish it. It's, it's another opportunity for embellishment. Okay. Something just fell. I knocked something down. Somebody's been messing with my stuff there. Okay, so in my fussy cutting, I have this kind of large piece, and I could use it, if you'll notice, the flowers kind of hug the photo cluster around here and over at this corner. And the title is going to kind of go across there. Let me go ahead and do that so I can... I can know where that space goes. I'm going to do, because it's outlined in white, I, I, it doesn't bother me to put it across these uh, patterns. So now that means that this may have to go up here at the top. Yeah, that works. That works for me. I will. I'm going to secure it only in one spot. Let's see. I'll move it this way. You know. I'm going to do this, and then I'll put those in separately. I want to stick that one kind of underneath. That works, okay there and then I can do this one well we'll see because I have this palm tree that I kind of wanted to hide behind something a, a large element and this kind of works that's kind of sticking you know what I'm gonna do guys I am going to be true to the sketch. I want these things to show. And if I extend the flowers, if the flowers are too big and they extend all the way up there, then I, we, we don't get what I consider to be one of the nicer elements of the sketch. So... This means I probably have way too much stuff fussy cut, but I'm going to just commit to that being right there, and I'm going to put a let's see if I have anything that is meant to be. tucked in under. I'm going to mix in some of the black and white flowers with the tropical ones. I'm going to 
I'm gonna slide that in there. Let me do it like that. And I've got these little guys that I can bring some contrast around some of these others. Uh, let me get I'm going to do that like that, and then I'll do it there, and then it, it the cut edge lines up with that, but I can still do something like this to go around there, or maybe I have this little guy there. And I can put one of these maybe right in there and kind of peel it up a bit. Okay, and now, okay, this can go, I need something around in this corner. And that's where I thought this might be able to go. Kind of like that. I, I'm gonna fill in over there, but I'm, I'm trying to use some of the bigger pieces first. Okay, and I like these big leaves maybe for that area. And I'll sprinkle in some black and white ones. Um, I'm gonna put this pink flower I'm gonna cut it like so and put it behind these two things there. And I will put a tiny little um, bit of the black and white flower maybe over there where that cut didn't go straight. How about that? Okay, and I have this, which can go and I can go there, and now let's do some black and white just to kind of bring out some contrast there. Similarly, well, let's get this down. Let 
I love how no matter how the themes change with uh, simple stories, the colors seem to be compatible. And even if they're not exactly the same, they, um, they seem to work together. Okay, and where else do I want something? Um, I have this orange flower that I can maybe add down here just to bring that color into this cluster. And let's see, what is this? This is a pink one. I'll go ahead and use it. See, I've kind of covered those up a little more than I want to, but I'm gonna put that pink flower right there overlapping the photo. I've got this and this. I don't wanna use this up there because that repeats that same flower. I love this leaf, and if I use it here, it doesn't really cover up anything there, so I think it would work. And I actually could add this around here. That seems to work. Okay, and then I will put this little flower um, might just kind of insert it. Nope, don't like it there. Um, I'll double it up with that one. And then I have this one which could maybe go right there. And if I curl these palm tree leaves up, they'll, it'll kind of reveal those flowers underneath and give it a little bit of dimension. And is there anywhere I can use this? I'll bet I can use the top of it up here. That doesn't show very well. How about if I have it coming out 
from behind that little panel there. Okay, and I guess the rest of this can go away. I have a camera left that, in my opinion, is just too big. I'd cover up too much, and I have these postage stamps, which aren't necessary, I think. So I'll save those for another page. Um, I will not worry about these little bannery things. I was maybe going to use them kind of to repeat the pattern of this, maybe underneath the flowers but I don't think that's necessary. So again, I'll keep that. I'm happy with the title, and I thought I might add a few of the, um, the hearts, kind of sprinkle those around from, from this sticker sheet. Um, here, and I'll just kind of put these up there, and I have to get a ladybug because this is Katie Bug, and I'm just going to do one of these guys, and I'll have it. up on these flowers that are kind of peeking in. Is that what I want to do? It's by this red over here, so I thought that might work. It would be cute up here on that flower pot or coffee cup or whatever it is. Um, I'm just going to put it there. It kind of covers up the puzzle, uh, the top of the puzzle box, but you can see it there. And you know that's what she's following, so. Okay, I think I'm done. I love this sketch. To me, it's just an awesome sketch. I'm not really done because I don't have the uh, word strips here. It, my word strips say, Reese looks on as Katie Bug puts together a puzzle. And I'm gonna tuck that under, made especially for James as a Christmas gift last year. I will tuck this under here. Okay done and you can see the the tops of the banners i didn't quite accomplish that fully up up there but that's okay the scale of my flowers was big and i don't know about you but the bigger the flowers the better so <laughs> go bigger oh i'm happy with this and i hope this inspires you to get back it into your um Simple Stories stash and check out what you have that that you loved once and haven't used lately because I'll bet you still love it. And you can find some, um, maybe, maybe you learned some techniques since you bought that uh, collection and you can do some different things with it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next month for Simple Stories Saturday. Bye.